Yeah, if at all, in your opinion, is there a place at all for testing? I think there is a place for balance assessment because we won't gather data, but it just depends on the context of what's happening. Um, you know, we can't get away from testing. You go for a driver's license, you have a test. Yeah. So you've got to learn a little bit about that, you know, um, in terms of, you know, how does it feel to have a test or, you know, you, you might be doing some type of um, competency-based task and there's an assessment task that goes with that. But the difference is that it's not a hit and miss. Now, I can sit my driving test as many times as I need. If I was in the industry and, and I missed that, I would, they would send me back and I would have to do a bit more work and then I could reset it. Sometimes with NAPFAN and things like that, it's a hit and miss sort of scenario. You only get one shot at it. Yeah. Sometimes I think that people lose sight of I think one of the original intents of that plan was to make sure that people are not falling mm. through the gaps, mm. but that doesn't seem to be sort of the main concentration anymore. I think many schools now have much richer data, for example, attendance data to, to chase up children that are falling through the gaps, or you know, they have support teams that monitor, so we have a learning support team which monitor children who are at risk both from an education point of view, but also from a social and emotional point of view as well. Um, so we've got two people monitoring children, so schools tend to have a richer day. For many schools, when the NAFLAN results come back, it's not a surprise. So the question is, why are we kind of still doing that? Well, I think we're shifting away from that paradigm of that, those sorts of um, assessment tasks, and we have to rethink about how we're going to go in terms of the future. Do you think schools have got better over the decades at um, knowing their students and understanding their students? Well, one of the New South Wales public education um, focus right now is every student's known, valued and cared for. And I think many schools do that really well. There's a range of strategies, a broad range of strategies. There's no one way you can say, oh, if I do this, this will happen. It's like a range of strategies depending on the context. So for many schools, they might be tracking attendance, for example, mm -hmm. to make sure children aren't falling through the gaps in attendance. Yeah. For some schools, they might be having personalised learning plans because some child is struggling at school, so we have to might have mentor programs or peer tutoring or um, extension programs. It's, it's all those sorts of programs so it's not one size fits all. So, you know, it's gone into days, I think, where everyone does the same thing every single day. Like, let's draw a duck and everyone's duck looks exactly the same in an art class.